Now this is a crazy cool puzzle called Two Keys. Let's check it out. The Two Keys puzzle is, and you can see it a little bit here with the plastic, it's a puzzle that basically has one moving part, this sliding rail here with the lighter colored wood, you can see there, and this piece that maneuvers through the track. The goal of the puzzle is to line up this piece that is a circle on both sides so that it can come out of that hole there. So from its starting point that's marked with that square, you want to get over here to that circle in this track. And on the back, you'll want to go up here that track, which when I flipped it over, it's actually down to here, if you're holding it in this way. While that might seem easy with only moving this back and forth, this can be a real challenge. And one of the first things that I did when I got this puzzle was to immediately try, let's move it forward. And I was basically focusing on this end here and I said, you know what, I'm going to try to just, you know, slide this back and forth and try and move this one down. So let's see what happens um, when I did that. I was sliding over and down and you can see that here. I slid over and down and I got to this point and I can't move this farther because it's blocked. You can see that there. No matter where I slide this, it's blocked. And that is because, and I'm going to bring um, bring this back to its original starting location here. Oops. There. The reason for that is that the only spots that line up with that along the bottom are this and this. That spot there and this string here. Basically when you're sliding here we're going to need to get this peg in the light section to one of those spaces to be able to actually solve it. So that's all the hints I'm giving you. I hope that hint was was kind of helpful. It's pretty clear that you do to be able to go down and around there, around that section, you've got to get a clear opening there. So with that hint, go ahead and give this a try. Grab this puzzle. It's pretty inexpensive. I like it because it's flat. It can fit in my pocket. It looks really sharp. This on the side here is just a, um, a stamp. Um, it doesn't actually tell you anything helpful for solving this. I found that if I give this puzzle to someone and they stick with it long enough sliding back and forth and back and forth and moving this, uh, everyone I've given it to to try it out has been able to solve it. So that's kind of encouraging. You've just got to think about the puzzles and where you want to move that. So give it a shot, grab the puzzle, give it a shot, and then come back and I will show you the full solution after this spoiler warning. Solution time. This two key puzzle is basically set up like this. You need to move this peg around or this metal basically got a screw on one side. You need to move that and we're going to focus on the the light side here. We have to move that all the way around here and over into this section. While we're doing that, if we flip over to this side, we have to avoid going over here. So that means we can't move the peg over here. We're going to be sliding this piece as much as we can that way. So let's go ahead and, and try this out. I'm going to try sliding it here. Notice how, again, we're keeping the peg on this half. Because if you get the peg over in here, it gets stuck and it can never go past, which is what we're trying to do here. We're going to move over to here and then, uh-oh, we're stuck. All right, right there is a spot where we're stuck. We don't want to do that. So let's try that again. Oh, here we go. That's better. So we can slide down to this point. 
And this is one, if we flip it over and we see, sliding underneath there was what we wanted to do because that was the spot where we couldn't get to before. So now we can slide underneath there and then go back up again and kind of be sitting where, where we want to be. See that? We've got those two lined up. From this one now, <laughs> I have to go all the way back around to here. But the trick is, while I'm doing that, again, I want to keep this peg on this side because if I go back underneath, then I will get stuck again. So I'm going to start by bringing it up and try to keep it, keep the peg relatively close here. Notice I'm not, not moving it very much, but it's going through that light top there. Now, I bring it underneath here and over to the finish. And that's where it'll come out. If you've succeeded, you can take the whole thing apart if you want. There's not really much of a point in doing that. But there's the full solution for taking it apart. Let's put this bad boy back together. To do that, you want to make sure, first of all, that they do line up those holes. Because if you accidentally flipped it over or something like that, then you can see that those won't line up. So we know the right way to put them together like that. And that's for anyone joining us who maybe has it taken apart and doesn't know how to get started. You start out with the puzzles together. We'll put this piece through. I like to have the edge up here that does not have the screw in it, but that's just a personal preference. And now what I'm going to do with this is bring it all the way around and back down to here. And that's what I'm going to attempt to do here if I can. There. So again, you're kind of watching how this moves around. Oops. And I've gotten it down to here. Now I didn't have to go all the way into that corner, but just wanted to illustrate that that's the basic path that it will take. And you're doing that the whole time while keeping this basically back and forth between this section. Now I'm going to go up and around to this one. And that is when we push it back. And that's this special one move that has to go around that. That's the one piece, that, the, the spot that blocks it. Now we're past there and we can start moving towards our solution. So we're going to go back up again. Oh look, see, it's nicely lined up now. But that's not where we want it. We want it to go around here. And kind of see the path that that is following. And we get it back inside that square at the beginning, it's nicely lined up, and that is the full solution for the two keys puzzle. It's a great puzzle. I will have links in the video description of where you can get a hold of this. It's from puzzlemasters.ca, which is a great little company that has some, some awesome puzzles that are unique and fun, and I've only seen this one there. So go ahead and grab, a, grab one of these there. It's pretty inexpensive. Fun little puzzle. It's great for playing and handing out to your friends so that they can try it out. I hope that video was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.